everyone, this is Jackie Eichhorn. I teach flute, clarinet, and saxophone and piano here at Music Royale and Powell. And today I am going to show you how to properly assemble and disassemble a clarinet. So, first you want to make sure that your case is facing upright. Um, sometimes there will be a logo or something on the top of the case and or the bigger part of the case will be on the bottom. Um, so that's important, otherwise when you open it your pieces will dump all over the floor. Um, I've done it before and seen it happen, it's not pretty. Um, so once you have that set and you open your case, you want to pay attention to where all of the different pieces go because when you disassemble you need to put them back in their rightful spots. Um, the clarinet is one of the most difficult to put together because there are so many pieces. Um, so first, if you have a newer instrument um, with newer corks on each of the parts, you are going to want to cork grease them. Um, most clarinets will come with cork grease or you can buy it at a music store online for like 50 cents. It's pretty cheap. Uh, so you want to start with probably, I mean any of the corks, the lower joint has the biggest cork. So you're going to put it on just like chapstick, you don't want to cake it on or it will get all gunky in your case. Um, so you want to rub that on with your finger, just make the corks nice and smooth. You want to have a, a rag or something handy. And so once you've done all of the corks, this one, this one, and then there's one on the mouthpiece, you are ready to assemble your clarinet. So I usually start from the bottom and work my way up. Uh, so you start with the bell at the bottom, the one that is shaped like a bell. And then you have the lower joint, and the lower joint is the biggest piece in the case. And so when you pick it up, you don't want to be picking it up by the keys or the rods or you'll bend them. Uh, so you want to just pick it up by the bottom or have your hand here on the keys on the rings so you're not bending these keys. And then you want to have your bell in your left hand. And then you want to twist it on. And it should, if you've put cork grease on, twist pretty easily. You don't want to be rocking it back and forth because this little piece might snap off or crack off if it's plastic. Um, so you just want to twist that on like that. And then you want to hold that with your right hand. And then with your left hand, you grab the next biggest part, the upper joint. And again, try not to be smashing the keys. And you want to hold that by these rings. And it's very important that you push this ring down because there is, this key is called a bridge key. And so if you can see here, this little key pushes up. And you want that pushed up because when you twist these two pieces together, it will bridge the upper joint to the lower joint here. So you just want to twist these together. Again, it should twist right together if you have cork grease on it. And then next you have your barrel, this one shaped like a barrel. And you just want to twist that on to the upper joint. And then lastly, you have your mouthpiece. And that can just twist or sit on the barrel. And then you have your clarinet assembled. The next piece is your ligature. Normally they're silver, mine is gold. It comes in different colors, there are black ones, rubber, metal, plastic. And then you have your reed. So when, before you even assemble your clarinet, you probably want to have your reed soaking in water so it's nice and moist and can vibrate, or in your mouth if you don't have water. And then, you put your reed on your mouthpiece, just like this. So you want the flat side, the side with the logo, you want that facing your mouthpiece. You just want it flat on there, have the tip lined up with the tip of the mouthpiece, and then very carefully, you want to slide your ligature, just like so, and then you want to have it down to, right about here most mouthpieces will have a line and you will see where you need to line it up. It's right where the mouthpiece, it, it curves and then it goes flat and that's about where you want your ligature. And then the screws are always on the right. This is very important. So some ligatures like mine are inverted where the screws are in the back. Some the screws will be in the front but they will always be on your right hand side. And when you tighten them, you just want to tighten them until they stop. You don't want to crank them on or you'll strip your screws. So that is how you assemble a clarinet. All the keys are in the front. In the back there is just a thumb rest and not many keys, so that's how you know if you have it assembled the right way. And then to disassemble, you're just going to take it apart the way you put it together. So you're going to take your ligature off, set it to the side, and you're going to take your reed off, put it back in the case it came in. You'll probably get it in a case like this. You want to put the bottom end in first so you don't chip the reed. 
and then you're going to take your mouthpiece off, put your ligature back on, put it back in your mouthpiece cap, and then you want to swab out your clarinet. So you, your clarinet might come with one or you might have to purchase a swab. The silk ones are better because they go through your instrument a lot easier than um, a cloth one and it, it, w it won't get stuck as easily. So you want to tip your clarinet upside down and very carefully put your swab right into the bell and then you have to be careful when you pull it that you're holding on here and not up here or your clarinet will go flying. So you want to just pull your swab through, get all that condensation out, be very careful when doing this. And then you will take your barrel off without squishing any of these keys, twist it off, put it back in the case where it came from, and then twist the upper joint off, put that back in the case where it came from. Then you twist the lower joint and the bell and put them back in the case where they came from. So I would advise if you're a younger student, a smaller student, it, it is a lot easier to put your clarinet together on the floor versus on your lap. So if you want to do that, that is great. And that is how you assemble and disassemble a clarinet.